Okay, so now we've finished filling the uh, gaps with green stuff, we've done our basic first, first pass. Uh, there's a lot more to do on the skull area, the jaw lining, and the neck muscles, and the, uh, the spine there in the back, joining that all up in a cohesive way. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the pieces. So this is a Balrog head from the Lord of the Rings kit, and these are Balrog hands here and here, and then these are the horns from the War Demon kit from Ultra Forge. What we've got here is some zombie dragon wings. You've seen these before, but you haven't seen them like this. I've just been down in the kitchen with a pot of boiling water, and I've done a lot of uh, shaping. It's, it's quite difficult to maintain the, the sort of hard bone structure, but in the end, I sort of like the feel. I think if you know the fluff behind Scarband, his wings were destroyed by corn after being flung through the warp for a thousand years uh, or more. And I like the idea that they're almost like liquefied and limp and useless. So um, they've both got a curve to them now. The um, idea is that I'll attach them to the back of the war demon. But first what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of dremeling. So I'm just gonna take a dremel bit and dremel out some of this stuff. Okay, here we go. I might take out this section here, but uh, I don't want to go too far because I like the look of the original zombie wing, and I think that it's pretty clear that his wings are pretty messed up, he's in bad shape. To get that look, I use the point tip so that I can dig in and then push in further if I need to go for more, uh, more width there. So there we go guys, one green stuffed Scarbrand, greater bloodthirster war demon thingy. And we've got all the green stuff in the right places and it's just the basic first level and then we'll go back in with the detailed green stuff. But let me just show you what's going on. So we've got the wings attached, uh, we've added some basic musculature. I don't know if this will be the final musculature but it's kind of like there's the, there's the increased neck there and there's the two wings joined there. Once that's dried we'll put the skin over it which is just a thin layer of green stuff that helps us define more uh, veins and, and skin and pock marks and texture and stuff like that. But this first layer gives us its musculature. The wings are attached, as you can see, and just a matter of blending them in there. And I use the same technique that I showed you before with the super glue and lots and lots of baking soda. So in the next video, we'll add uh, more green stuff detail and start adding all the bits to cornify him. Well, thanks for watching, guys and I will see you in the next video.